I'm Troy McManus, Director of the National Range Officer Institute with an NROI tip. One of the most important jobs a range officer has is to score a competitor's targets accurately. To do that, you use your official scoring overlays. I have some sample targets here that we're going to use to demonstrate different methods of scoring hits on targets, whether they're on the line, doubles, or edge hits. So we've determined that this is a 9mm bullet hit by asking the competitor what caliber he's shooting, and he's claiming that this is a double. So one tip you can use to determine if it really is a double and you want to use your overlays is to go up to either the next biggest diameter on the overlay or even the next biggest and note that that hole is indeed oval in shape. But then we want to take our 9mm overlay, place it over the center of the bullet hole as close as we can get it, and then we're going to take our second 9mm overlay and we're going to move that around this bullet hole until we determine that we can see a second bullet diameter in the hit. And you can see it right there. Now this is a 9mm double, would score two hits. The next target we're going to score is an edge hit on the outside edge of a cardboard target, which is one of the more difficult edge hits to score. Now this is a 40 caliber bullet hit, uh, as told by the competitor. First thing you want to do is reapproximate the perforation line with the edge of your overlay. Then you want to take your 40 caliber or 10 millimeter overlay, place it where you can see the dot in the center of the bullet hole. And this touches the line as evidenced by the outside of the diameter. So this would score the Charlie on the target. Now let's take a look at a hit between two scoring zones. This is the most common scoring call that most range officers will see. Again, it's a 40 caliber hit between the C and D line on a target. Again, we'll be using an overlay to approximate the line and one overlay to determine where the hit actually touches. We want to take our first overlay and reapproximate the perforation line with the edge of that overlay. And then we want to place our 10 millimeter overlay over that and we can see that it touches the line right there. So that would be a Charlie hit. One of the most difficult targets for a range officer to score is an angled hit from a drop turner or a max trap. To do this, we again have to reapproximate the line, and then we have to determine the highest scoring zone hit by the grease mark or burn mark left on the target, not necessarily the bullet hole itself. This is a hit off of a turning target. First thing we want to do is reapproximate the line, and so we want to put our overlay right over the perforations as closely as we can get it. Then we want to take our second overlay. This is a 45 caliber hit. And we want to place that on the target and get the grease ring in the hole and center it in the bullet hole. And then we should have a touch on the line. The official USPSA overlays are the best tool you can use to score a competitor's target accurately. Find out more at NROI.org. Range is clear.